Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. And currently we have a sea of green out here. That includes the spot volatility index. The S&P is up uh, 20 points. The NASDAQ is up 133. The Dow is up 67. That's only a quarter of a percent to the upside. It's NASDAQ leading the charge. Uh, the Russell's up actually one and two tenths, and the semis are up one and six tenths percent. So really, the semis leading the charge are up four, 44 points out there. Now, the spot volatilix is trading up about uh, 53 pennies right now. It's still below its 50 day exponential moving average. That's still bullish for the SP 500. Gold's up six bucks. Silver, 23 cents. That's a buck and uh, one, 1.2 percent out there. Natural gas is up 44 cents. Uh, lights recruit up four bucks, four percent to the upside there. Let's go take a look at a nine panel market update chart. Don't think much has changed really since we were last together with the exception of price that was on friday morning you got the es mini right now it is dealing with the resistance level the bottom of its weekly profile and that's at the 3887 level or 3885 ecs spot volatility well below its 50 day the 50 days at 2732 we're printing out at 2477 you've got the nq right up at that resistance. This is a resistance level that was first uh, tested and rejected back on June 27th. Then it was tested and rejected in July, July the 8th. And now this is the second test in July. And uh, that level, by the way, is 12,197.05. U.S. dollar index formed a nice Rhodesman indicator top on Friday. It did that when it formed that little bearish reversal candle. Now price is pulled back to a support zone. The, support, the zone out here for the U.S. dollar is 106.43 to 106.73. The low of the day, 106.74. You've got gold still holding on to its uh, buy the D point pattern, but uh, buy it uh, hair on its chinny chin chin. 17.0450 is the price level that price continues to need to close above. Right now, I've got just a bit of counter trend move inside of silver. I may move higher. That counter trend target would be $19.23. We're trading at $18.82. If price closes above $19.23, then we would be looking at a move up to the $19.77 level. In the case of Lights Recruit, it's got two different Gartley buy patterns out here and a new profile. That profile formed on Friday. We took a look at that. $93.50 is the bottom of that profile. That's held at support. This is suggesting that price will run up to 105 and a quarter level. Natural gas, that is moving higher as well. I've taken a look at natural gas charts out there. Maybe a TD9 count top that is uh, forming today or tomorrow. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you have to start your Monday, have a magical one. And we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care now.